This one equation will help you rendezvous with any orbital target. It's called the Hohmann transfer angle formula. You may be familiar with the Hohmann transfer. It's one of the optimal ways to get from one orbit to another. But when used with this equation, when we move to that second orbit, we can rendezvous with a target that is already in that orbit. Have you ever used a site called ksp.olex.biz? It's super useful for showing you when you need to set off to do an optimal interplanetary transfer. And it has this equation built into it. So let's break down what this equation really means and how to use it. Here in the formula, the Greek letter theta represents the required phase angle in degrees. R1 is the radius of your starting orbit. So if you're traveling interplanetary, this is just the orbit of the planet you are setting off from. R2 is just the radius of the destination orbit. Now, since orbits aren't always perfectly circular, you should use the semi-major axis for the radius. This is just the average of the apoapsis and periapsis, measured from the center of the primary body, not the surface. When we actually plug numbers into this formula, we get an angle in degrees. This tells us the phase angle between our starting point and our target that we need to do our maneuver from. For example, let's try Kerbin and Duna. KSP.olex.biz tells us that the angle should be 44.36 degrees. Plugging the values for Duna's semi-major axis and Kerbin's orbital radius gives us a value of 44.36 degrees. The biggest advantage of using this formula is that you can use this for any two near circular orbits. So no matter how stranded your Kerbals are, you now know how to get to them.